It's exercise of the week time again. This time it's by request. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This one's part of the Exercise of the Week series. I'm here most Mondays with a new exercise for you to practice throughout the week. I always ask for your suggestions for exercise topics for these videos, but this one came after a direct appeal on Instagram and Facebook this past weekend. Thanks for all of your ideas. I'll get to them during the next few weeks. One viewer, Dave P, asked for something to help work on accuracy when playing larger intervals, particularly at faster tempos. I'm happy to oblige, but I think it's also important to talk about why that can be a challenge. Per Dave's request, the larger intervals we're talking about here are intervals of at least a sixth. There are two things that tend to make these a little untidy. Firstly, to play intervals this big, we're always moving to a different partial. That means we're skipping over another note with the same fingering as the note we're moving to. That gives you a good chance for a frack if you're not being specific with your air. Secondly, we tend not to practice larger intervals slowly enough to get used to moving smoothly from one note to the other. This leads us to exaggerate physical movements as we change pitch. The visual upshot of this tends to be a lot of movement in the embouchure. To practice both of these things, I have the fourth in my series of twisted flexibilities. In this set, we start moving between more than two partials and introduce some so-called skip one flexibilities. In common with every video in this series, the exercises are available as a free downloadable PDF from the Airflow Music online store. You'll find the link in the description below. Please go ahead and download it now so you can follow along. There are four different sets of slurs in this collection. The first two focus on moving between the three partials so we can get used to moving smoothly across that slightly larger distance. The second two are what I call skip one flexibilities, where we move between the outer two notes of those three without clipping the notes in the middle. Like all the other twisted flexibilities, these are in odd meters to keep you concentrating on time and playing with even tempo. The goals here are to move as smoothly as possible between the notes, hitting the widest part of the top of each pitch and riding the airstream so we can keep extraneous embouchure movement to a minimum. If you watch yourself in the mirror as you play these and find that there's some noticeable movement in your embouchure, particularly around the corners, then spend some time playing slowly through the first two sets of these, as exercises 1 to 12 on the PDF. If you can't work out how to ride the airstream and keep the motion out at first, then try playing chromatically between two of the partials. In almost all cases, you'll find that there's much less movement in your embouchure when you do this, since you don't over-exaggerate the movement to pass through each semitone. Once you've proved this to yourself, play very slowly between the two partials, so you can work out how to make the move as smoothly and efficiently as possible. Minimising embouchure movement in this way should make it much easier to approach the later exercises where you're skipping smoothly over one partial. Again, go slow to figure it out. As usual, all of this should be done at a comparatively soft volume. I'm going to demonstrate the first of each set of exercises. That's numbers 1, 7, 13 and 19 on the PDF. Please go ahead and download the PDF at the link below and try it for yourself. If you have any questions about these exercises, or if I missed explaining something, please comment below. Also, if you'd like to request an exercise to work on a particular area of playing, or if you'd like to suggest any topic for me to make a video about, I'd love to hear from you. All the exercises in this series are available for free download. 
However, if you'd like to support the work that goes into making these videos, you also have the option to name your own price and contribute a few dollars. Alternatively, while you're over at airflowmusic.com, please check out the books and other merchandise we have on offer. All sales directly support making these videos. Otherwise, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another exercise of the week next Monday, and other videos will be returning soon as well. I'll see you next time. Now, go practice.